I asked over 50 people in stores, barber shops, gas stations, restaurants, the same question without telling them why. If you could ask candidates running for U.S. Senate one question, what would it be? Overwhelmingly, it was this basic response. How can voters have any confidence that the candidate will be the same person as the office holder? What is your response? Uh, if you look at what the left says about me, if you look at the way the liberal media attacks me, I think they attack me more and more viciously and more aggressively than any candidate running in Ohio or maybe any candidate running in the midterm election of 2022. Because the thing that makes people go soft when they get to Washington, D.C., I believe more than them being bad people or more than them just not having the character, it's because they care more about the approval of the press and people who hate us than they care about the approval of their own constituents. That, that is what, if you look at this campaign, if you look at the way the press is attacking me, I will not bend, I will not fold, I will not let them bully me because I'm going to BC to serve all of you, not to serve them. So I stand at this stage, 31 years a lawyer, 22 years in business part, and 11 years as a public servant. So I have a record that you can look at. I don't delete my tweets. I don't afraid, I'm not afraid to answer any question. If you don't like the answer, at least you know where I stand. That has been my record throughout my legal career even as a prosecutor, as representing business, as being in business, and being a public servant. I am direct. I am transparent, and I am an open book. And you may not like everything you've read about me, but you know it about me. I am the same guy today, standing on this stage, that I was a week ago, a month ago, four years ago. As we come out of the new year, and this campaign heats up, pay attention in this race to statements that were made years ago, to dodging questions today about what you stood for yesterday, it does matter. It's not unique that these, that's what people want to know. Who are you elected? And I can tell you, you know Thank what you you're getting with me. All right, I think I already mentioned uh, the fact that I want to go to Washington. You know, and I want to tell the truth. We don't hear the truth much anymore. And, and, and you know, you have Republicans that don't tell the truth. Because Ms. McConnell said don't tell the truth. Because and if you do tell the truth, we're not going to help you in the next election. Politicians go to Washington, the first thing they do, they like the life, they're going to get rich, they love it, and they want to stay on their term. I guess it's human nature. I don't care about another term. I care about one thing, getting something done in six years so my kids, my grandkids, have the same opportunities I had when I was their age. Because that's going away. And we need to begin to tell the truth. And we need to do some bold things about getting this country back to what was envisioned when our founders wrote the Constitution. We rejected the Constitution. Our Supreme Court's allowed us to do it. Thank it actually you. changed by legislation. I think it all comes down to core values. Uh, my core values come from two places, from the Marine Corps and from the Bible. Uh, core values in the Marine Corps that they hammer into you are honor, courage, and commit. In the Bible, there are so many, there's so many areas of scripture we can reference from which we derive our values. But I believe that America was founded on the bedrock of Judeo-Christian values. Not Muslim values, not atheism, Judeo-Christian values. And one of the main differentiating fa factors that separates that Judeo-Christian ethic from these other belief sets is our acknowledgement of good versus evil and our willingness to fight for good over evil. Thank you very much. The reason I'm running is because of that question. Because I spent my entire life sitting out there and seeing the candidates that you're doing tonight. And I would say it really comes down to one word, really, isn't it? Which is betrayal. This idea that you go listen to candidates, they tell you everything you want to hear is beautiful. And then, lo and behold, 
Two years go by, three years go by, five years go by, and none of the things that they said they would do, they actually accomplish. And they come back and they are so good, aren't they? They're coming up with all the excuses. At the end of the day, take a look at what people have done. Where have they actually advocated for Ohio? Have you built your business in Ohio? Have you invested in companies in Ohio? Have you hired people in Ohio? Have you been a champion for Ohio? Have you actually put your money where your mouth is and actually done the things that you said you're going to do? That's your best test. I can tell you one thing, I will never, ever be tricked. <laughs> Why do people flip flop? Mm -hmm. We've got two examples up here on the stage right now. Mm -hmm. It's money. JD's got money from California, venture capital, Silicon Valley, $10 million. Then we've got Josh, who's got Club for Growth money. They're running ads against JD. Now, do you think millions of dollars come with no strings to hatch? I mean, if you do, I've got some swamp land in Florida I'd like to sell you. Okay? <laughs> I can tell you, there are no strings with me. Right? I've made my bones. I sold my business. I came from a lower middle class family. At the end of 2019, I didn't like what Rob Horton was doing for Ohio, so I registered to primary him. Primary is sitting U.S. Senator for that kind of power and money. Nobody else up here can say that. Nobody. I will also tell you the OMP, the Ohio Republican Party, is corrupt. Mike DeWine should not be reelected. He should be elected. <laughs> They'll tell you that they've been, you know, an outsider. A lot of them have been insiders and career politicians. I think many of you who know me in this room know me as Jane Timken. I don't change who I am, I am who I am, and I will always be standing up for you. One of the reasons why I supported President Trump is because he said what he was gonna do, and he did. That's the model, that's what voters want. They want someone who says, I'm going to stand up for you. I'm going to fight to cut your taxes. I'm going to fight to secure the border. I'm going to fight to create jobs. I'm going to be in the trenches fighting for you. I have been in the trenches fighting for the America First agenda, and that's what I'm going to do in the United States Senate.